In this video, we're going to do some multi-step mole conversions. Both the problems that we work are going to be two-step conversions. So we'll convert from something to moles and then from moles to something else. To help us think through these problems, we're going to use something called a stoichiometry map to map out the conversions that we're going to do. But if you'd rather jump straight to a problem and see one worked out right away, here are the timestamps for both of these problems. So let's take a look at our conversion factors we might need to use. On the stoichiometry map, moles connects to everything else. Moles is kind of the central thing that we'll convert to and from. You also see that it says volume of gas A or moles of A. The A is just kind of like a variable. Whatever we're converting between in these problems needs to be the same substance. Later on in stoichiometry, you'll learn how to convert between moles of something to moles of some other substance. But for now, it should be always the same substance that we're converting between. So if we're converting between the volume of a gas and the number of moles of a substance, we're going to use 22.4 liters per mole. And remember, that's only valid at standard temperature and pressure. If you're not at STP, then you would need to use the ideal gas law, but we're not going to cover that in this video. If you're converting between moles of a substance and mass of that substance, you're going to need the molar mass. And remember, we get the molar mass from the periodic table. And the last conversion factor we might need, if we're converting between the number of moles of a substance and the number of particles of that substance, we're going to use Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd particles per mole. And remember, particles could be atoms, molecules, ions, any discrete particle of a substance. Now that we got those conversion factors listed out, let's look at some problems. This first problem says, how many atoms are in a 353 gram sample of iron? Grams is the mass, so I know the mass, and I'm trying to get from mass to atoms, which are a type of particle. So let's map out our conversion here. We're starting with mass because that's what we know. Over here on the stoic map, I see mass of A, and the only thing I can convert to is from mass to moles. So I'm gonna convert from mass to moles, but I'm trying to get to atoms, which is a type of particle. So mass, convert to moles, and then convert down to particles. Mass to moles to particles. That was a total of two conversions, right? Mass to moles and then moles to particles. So I'm gonna need a conversion chart that has three parts to it. One with what I start with and then two parts for each of the two conversions that I need to make. In the first part of the conversion table, I'm gonna write what I know, which is 353 grams of iron. That was my starting point. My first conversion was from mass over to moles and I'm gonna to have to use my molar mass for that. I'm gonna to need to look up the molar mass of iron on the periodic table. And that molar mass is 55.85 grams of iron for every mole of iron. And I put the grams of iron in the denominator so that it will divide out with the grams of iron in the numerator. And I'm left with moles. So I've converted to moles at this point. Now that's not my ending point. I need to convert from moles to the number of particles or the number of atoms. Moles to particles, I'm going to use Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd particles per mole. I'm gonna put moles on the denominator because I have moles in the numerator over here. I need those to divide out. And then 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms is gonna go on the top. Moles of iron will divide out on the top and the bottom. And I'm left with atoms of iron. And so the last thing to do now is to put this into the calculator and calculate how many atoms do we have. So I'll take 353 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd and then divide by 55.85 and I get 3.8062 times 10 to the 24th atoms of iron. The fewest number of sig figs I used in the problem was three. So I'm gonna keep three sig figs in my answer and round to 3.81 times 10 to the 24th atoms of iron. So for this problem, I used the stoichiometry map to map out my progress from mass all the way to particles. And then I wrote out my conversion table here with three parts to it, one for what I knew, two for the two conversions I would need to make, I set up my conversions so that units would divide out, and so I was left with atoms of iron, and then I just put that into the calculator to solve for how many atoms of iron I needed. Awesome, so let's take a look at a second example, and whatever is in the second example, I'm just gonna approach it the same way. So the problem says, what is the mass in grams of 5.00 liters of oxygen gas at STP? And the STP is important because that tells me I can use 22.4 liters per mole as a conversion factor. So let's map it out. I'm starting with liters or volume, and then the only thing I can convert to from volume is gonna be moles. So I'm gonna convert from volume to moles, and I'm trying to get to the mass. So volume to moles to mass, and that's gonna get me where I need to be. It looks like, again, I have two conversions that I'm making, volume to moles and then moles to mass. So I'm gonna need to set up my conversion table with three parts, one for what I know or what I'm starting with, and then two more parts for each of the conversions that I need to make. I'll start with what I know, which is 5.00 liters of oxygen. 
My first conversion is from volume to moles, volume to moles. So I'm gonna use the 22.4 liters per mole. I need liters in the denominator, so it'll divide out with liters in the numerator over here, and that's liters per one mole of oxygen. Those will divide out, and I've converted to moles so far. Then I need to convert from moles to mass, and I'm gonna use the molar mass for that. So I need to look up the molar mass of oxygen in the periodic table. That molar mass is 16, but oxygen gas is diatomic, meaning that it's O2. So I need to add 16 plus 16 to get 32 grams per mole. That's the molar mass of oxygen gas. Moles need to go in the denominator down here, so they divide out with moles in the numerator up there. So I have one mole of oxygen in the denominator, and then 32 grams in the numerator. Moles of oxygen divide out with moles of oxygen. I'm left with grams of oxygen. That's the mass that I'm trying to find. I'll take five times one times 32, and then divide by 22.4, and I get 7.1429 grams of oxygen. Three sig figs is what I was given in the problem, so 7.14 grams of oxygen. So in this video, we did two conversions. We converted between mass and particles, and then we converted between volume and mass. Now there's lots of other conversions that we could do here. And I'm not gonna go through an example for each one because the process is the same. Now, as you get better at these, you can start to put the stoichiometry map away because you'll be more familiar with the conversions and you can do these without the map. But always start with what you know, think through how you're gonna get from what you know to what you're trying to convert to, and then use your conversion table to do that conversion. So that's how you do multi-step mold conversions of a substance.